Good morning, rather than good evening. It's time. It's the feast day of the Annunciation, which means that morning prayer led us into the day with this. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, who has clothed me with the garments of salvation and has covered me with the cloak of integrity, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth puts forth her blossom, and as seeds in the garden spring up, so shall God make righteousness and praise blossom before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until her deliverance shines out like the dawn, and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your deliverance, and all rulers shall see your glory. Then you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of God will give. You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. In recent days within our Christ at work uh, pattern of prayer, which are the Psalms and the Gospel reading for communion each day, we have had Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, uh, both a hymn of praise and of deep encouragement. And yesterday we had some words from Psalm 46, beginning with, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Things have changed again, of course, since uh, I last recorded uh, a video clip at the end of last week. Now the encouragement, the advice, the wisdom is that all of us, as far as possible, should stay in our own homes, going out to take exercise, going out for those things that we need, unless, of course, there's means by which those uh, foods and so forth can be brought to us by another. So here I am still in the vicarage, in a different chair, it has to be said, with a different view. And if uh, the row of Bibles behind me look a little worthy, then the uh, block to my right is simply a filing cabinet. And if I turn the camera to my left, you'll find this fine fellow who joined us from our recent giant jumble sale. So as you see, simply surrounded by the things of our life, which in my case, includes paperwork, Bibles and toys. The church building is now locked, not closed, as all church buildings are, and will remain so. This means that some of the plans I was having for how we might mark uh, Holy Week and Easter will have to change again, because the church building is no longer available for me to use for you on your behalf. So something will come from that, Ideas are already beginning to form, and while watch this space quite literally, uh, the website, maybe videos such as this, maybe emails. It is odd being in our own homes. Here it feels very much as if it ought to be holiday, but it's not. Uh, here we're working very well around each other, and I think each inspiring each other to go and do a little more work. Uh, as three of the households do their various forms of schoolwork, and I do whatever it is I do. But there is something releasing and something encouraging, I think, about the church buildings themselves even now being locked. That yes, they are a place where we meet, and yes, Christ Church is still full of the sounds, the sights of you, uh, the sights and sounds of worship, it is embedded in the plaster, as the sayings go. But in our own homes too, we find ourselves surrounded by the presence and the blessing of God. We do not need to pause for very long or listen at all hard to realise that the voices of those with whom we gather in Christ Church are with us still as we make our prayers, as we read those readings or those psalms, and as we greet continue and end each day. It's an opportunity, maybe, if we choose to make it so, 
to realise that God is with us here and the church is with us here. Today is the day of the Annunciation to Mary. Now that does set the bar quite high in terms of communication, both the means and the message, but it does seem an appropriate day perhaps to take up this video again and say the obvious, that God, by his Spirit and through Christ, comes to us, wherever we are. He steps into our homes, wherever they may be, may be, and those just across the road or just down the street. Those are the people we know, and those are those we don't. Do please continue to keep in touch with one another. Do please get in touch with me if you wish to, or if you have any particular need. And do please continue to pray knowing that you do so in the company not only of one another from Christ Church, but of the entire church, past and present. It's an extraordinary blessing, and it's one which it is perhaps good for me to realise is right here in my own home, between a filing cabinet and a fine fuzzy friend, all of which other things of my life as I share it with you. So on this feast day, may God announce to you the presence, the grace, the birth, death, resurrection and blessing of Christ.